Right, this is the new uh, Maxa C Deliver 3. Uh, we're just building a body for the back of it. It isn't complete yet. It hasn't got a roof on it. it hasn't got a chiller system in it. it hasn't got the, uh, the door glasses on the inside on the cold compartment and the warm compartment. Um, just going to do a walk round of it. Now, at the moment, if you want to buy one of these, we can take the order, but the order will be taken through the Maxus dealer because uh, the Maxus dealer will be able to get you the £5,000 back from the government, uh, which will more like prove a little bit more difficult if we try and actually do it ourselves. So, uh, basically what we'll do is we can sort of arrange the deal. We'll put you onto the Maxus dealer. Uh, they can sell you the vehicle uh, with the conversion already on it. Um, obviously we'll cover all the warranty on the back half and they'll do the warranty on the actual base vehicle. Um, right, I'll just give you another walk round and then I'll have a look. So I'm just sending this out to people that could be interested, uh, existing customers. Right, I'll just open on this side. So on this side, this will be your the warm area here. Uh, there's no, so there's no doors been fitted yet. Um, because the height this vehicle sits at, and not the Doblo, um, this is a lot lower. So what we've been able to do, we've been able to put extra shelves in. So you've got like four shelves in the warm compartment, plus you've got your gastronomes in the bottom, and you've got your extra shelf at the back there as well. Um, so a hell of a capacity on that. Uh, right, this is going to be the refrigerated area. Um, chiller system will go at the back there. Uh, still got all the protection stuff on the floor there, so ignore that. Slightly different configuration here. On this side, this is an ambient area. Um, we've done this because we've got a lot of bakers that are interested in uh, vehicles with, at the large ambient area. But what we're going to do, we're going to give you the option, whereas in here, we can put flaps in the side so that we can actually make this cold as well. So you've got the option of opening the flaps and keeping this refrigerated as well, or just have that as ambient. Um, I'll just go around the other side, just shut this door down. This will be your non-serve side, so you've got your spare storage area here. Uh, again, that's the other side of the ambient area, that goes right through. Um, this area here at the back here, you know, if you can put your um, blue roll and all your bits and bobs, you've got your heater controls here on the one in the back. Um, heater's obviously underneath the bottom there for the warming compartment. So very, very well equipped vehicle. Amazingly good build quality on the, uh, on the actual chassis cab. Um, Quite a good looking thing. Now, it's got, got up to 200 miles range, you know, in the real world, doing the job that we do, uh, more than adequate. Um, obviously, that's going to be pulled down a little bit by the uh, consumption of the, the chiller unit that we're going to be fitted. That chiller unit will have a standby system on it as well, um, so you can just plug that in and get it cold before you even start the job. But I think you'll agree, quite a nice looking bit of kit. Um, not got a final price on it yet um, you know the base unit is £34,000 before you even start the conversion but you've got to bear in mind this is electric um, it stacks up financially against a Doblo that we've been selling for 32 grand as easy as wink um, because of the money you save so you know it's uh, definitely the way to go forward I think uh, we'll be doing a proper video of it when we've actually got it complete. Um, but there you are. I'll uh, be in touch soon. Cheers.